So Tripwire is starting to share details about Killing Floor 2 Summer Update 2022 called Title Terror. In this week's post, they revealed a new weekly along with significant improvements coming to Survivalist and also Firebug. Hey guys, this is Chris with BNB Gaming. Welcome back and I hope you're doing amazing today. If you're new here and you're interested in Killing Floor 2 and hopefully Killing Floor 3 one day, hit that subscribe button. So to start with, we have details about the new weekly outbreak called Arsenal Ascent. In the blog post it says, get ready for Arsenal Ascent. What is it you ask? A race to see who can quickly kill the most Zeds with a predetermined set of 24 weapons, starting with the humble, but not to be underestimated, knife and 9mm pistol. So basically you're starting weapons. After that, kill quota with a weapon. After your kill quota with a weapon has been met, a stronger one is pulled from a set of three and will immediately be equipped as the race continues until one merc gets through the entire weapon list first. You'll find ammo and armor out there, trader pods will be disabled, and the ability to drop your weapons also will be disabled. Of course, there'll be an endless amount of targets until a victor is crowned. Try not to die as you'll be knocked back a few weapon levels depending on your progress. So if this all sounds familiar, it's gun game from Call of Duty and actually my little nephew plays it in Roblox. <laughs> it's pretty good. So as far as the bullet points and shout out to a noob sniper from Killing Floor 2's Reddit, first of all, Arsenal Ascent is a race type weekly to see who can clear out the most Zeds while using only a predetermined set of 24 weapons, the first weapons being the perk knife and 9mm pistol. Along with this, meeting the kill quota for the weapon immediately replaces the current weapon with another weapon. Dying causes the player to be knocked back a few tiers down. Only armor and ammo box pickups are available, no trader, no weapon dropping is allowed. In addition, Yushiro said, the mode has every player start a survivalist. Now one question I have here is, it says 24 weapons in the pool, does that mean there's 24 tiers? I don't think so, because earlier it says in the blog post, after the kill quota with a weapon has been met, a stronger one is pulled from a set of three and will be immediately equipped and the race continues. So I think it's going to be randomized with the 24 weapons every time. So once you get done getting your kills with your 9mm, it's going to be one of three weapons that come out of that. So anyways, instead of 24 tiers, I think there's 8 to 9. So you, you have the starting 9mm pistol, which is a tier, and then you have 8 more tiers, 3 divided into 24. Firstly, I'm kind of really excited about this. One question I have is, how do you win the weekly? So you have one winner of gun game, Assuming there's, what, eight players in here? So you have a one in eight chance of winning gun game and getting the weekly reward? To me, it looks like they're exploring different options for new playlists. So you had Abandon All Hope, I believe it was, and they actually said it was a test bed for different game modes. I think Arsenal Ascent is the same. As far as the survivalist improvements, in the blog post it says, Survivalist. We all know that you have preferred starting weapons and or grenades that you wish you could show up with every time you are headed into the field. Worry no more, as you've been cleared to select your starting equipment, primary weapon, and grenades. It goes on and says, on your perk selection slash overview screen, you'll now find arrows that will let you cycle through the available options, including random if you like. It also says once your survivalist reaches level 15, you'll be able to choose either the Molotov or Healing Grenade, joining the rotation based on your perk pick. So find that combination that works best for you and go kill some Zeds. So actually it's a little confusing here because in the blog post it says if you choose survivalist level 15 skill, for example weapon harness, you get the Molotov Grenade, and with the new update, you'll be able to choose the Molotov Grenade or the HE Grenade. 
Now if you select Ammo Vest as your level 15 skill on your survivalist, you get a choice of the Medic Grenade or the HE Grenade. However, Yushiro, the community manager at Tripwire, responded to Spartan Seth. Also, does this mean we will be able to use the HE Grenades past level 15 if we so choose, or is it still restricted to either the Molotov or Medic Nade? If we want to spawn with Molotov, do we still have to pick the Weapon Harness skill? Or would we get to choose between that, the Medic Grenade, and the HE Grenade when we reach level 15? Here Yoshiro replies and says, you'll be able to pick any grenade available to you, even if you have unlocked the Medic or Molotov via the perk choice. So basically we have two conflicting reports here. Personally, I hope we get to choose all three, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So in addition to the survivalists, they're also improving Firebug's level 25 skill. In the blog post it says, Firebugs will be pleased to hear that their level 25 skill Inferno is being improved. Now your fires and its damage over time will spread to surrounding Zeds around it immediately when the damage is dealt. So do what you do best and light some fires. So basically the flame effects and the damage over time will now immediately spread to surrounding Zeds. In addition, they're also doing a quality of life improvement for those who like to change their weapon style. In the blog post it continues, the inventory will now do a better job of sorting weapon skins using the following rule set of ordered importance by weapon in terms of trader price, rarity, from common to rarest, and the quality battle scar to mint. So essentially it's just gonna sort all your weapon skins. You'll be able to find them a lot faster. And finally in the blog post it says, speaking of arsenals slash weapons, the team will have more to share on some new Zed slaying tools coming your way in the days ahead. So stay tuned. Now if you're interested in what new weapons are coming to Killing Floor 2 in the summer update, I did a leak video about the two DLC weapons that have been leaked, which I linked in the pinned comment below and also on the card on screen. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Arsenal Ascent, gun game in Killing Floor 2? What do you think about the changes to Survivalist, being able to select your starting weapon? Let me know what you think. For me, I'm excited to try out Arsenal Ascent. Again, it seems like the devs are looking for a new game mode like objective mode that they can add to the playlist. As far as survivalist goes, it's one of my favorite perks, so anytime they improve him, I'm up for that. And over time here, I have found certain starting weapons that work much better on him than others, such as the grenade pistol, the Winchester, the cock and burn, etc. So this for me is a welcome improvement, and I know for myself with survivalist, I definitely like to run medic training with the medic grenades. I think it's really powerful. So I'm getting excited about trying this out in this new update. 